Welcome back, Griddle Cook Eat More. It's getting close to dinner time, so I want to uh, make a burger tonight for dinner. Uh, not any ordinary burger, a real popular burger. It's uh, super popular across social media. It has been for a long time now, or at least a, by a year or two at least. Um, but the burger's been around uh, for since back uh, in the 1930s. And the burger I'm talking about is uh, where it started. is the El Reno, Oklahoma onion burger. Uh, which I've made them before, delicious burger. So, but anyways, uh, this sounds good for dinner tonight and I thought, why not? I'll just make a video of it too, uh, since I never have. And I mean, come on, if you gotta grill it, you gotta do it, you gotta make one. So, uh, that's what we're doing tonight. That burger uh, goes back during the depression in the 30s, back when ground beef was expensive and I think hard to come by. So they used onions to, to spread out the beef uh, back then. But uh, we're gonna show you how they did that and what they still do today at uh, you know, probably a lot of places around uh, that area and through Oklahoma, I'm sure. So really uh, popular uh, uh, burger. And even uh, there's a burger, local burger chain uh, in St. Louis and, and they have a, their own rendition of the onion burger. So, uh, but that is it. So let's uh, check out what we're working with and what we're doing. Hey, this is Doug with Griddle Cook Eating More. Just stopping by to tell you about a couple things. First thing is I started a Facebook group called Halo Elite Griddles and More. So if you're a Halo owner or interested in purchasing a Halo, definitely check it out. And then second off, now this discount code I got, it actually went live today, and this discount code is good for 10% off, and it's anything on their website, on the Halo products uh, website. Uh, so not only do they have griddles, and if you don't know, or if you have looked at their website, they do also have a line of pellet grills, and, and then they also have a pretty cool pizza oven too. So you can get 10% off any of that, so you can get you a griddle, you can buy all three, whatever. And this is also good for accessories and all that good stuff. So the discount code that we did set up is Doug10. So that's D-O-U-G, my name, one zero, and it's all caps. So you just use that at checkout uh, when you're purchasing whatever you want on there. So the El Reno, Oklahoma onion burger. So how they do it there in Oklahoma at like Robert's Grill or Sid's Diner is they do a third pound ball of ground beef. It's 80-20, we got that. Onion, now they use uh, Spanish white onions, uh, which I can't do, we don't have around here, so I just got a sweet onion, um, which is Spanish white onions, kind of sweet onion too, so. But we're just gonna go with the good old sweet onion, because that's what we got. Uh, just a couple plain old burger buns, a couple plain old pieces of American cheese, and then we got some of that shake that all purpose seasoning uh, that we're gonna use on there. Uh, we're gonna use the mandolin, uh, because they slice these onions paper thin, so we're gonna get them as thin as we can without cutting our fingers off. And then other than that, and then one unique thing they use um, is uh, back in the day, they didn't really have good spatulas back then, so they took a brick trowel and they cut off the tip of it and made a spatula out of it. They still do that today at several places. Now, this is uh, actually a, a restaurant grade one, but it is a, a brick trowel that, you know, that they did cut off and make, but they sell it uh, uh, to restaurants and stuff, that style. Um, and actually, Freddy's uh, steak burgers, they use these spatulas at their place. So, uh, But we're gonna keep it true and, and use old brick trowel spatula. So that is it. Uh, we're gonna uh, get these onions shaved up here as uh, thin as possible. So let's uh, start getting that going. All right, so I got the mandolin here, set it to lowest setting. Always use your guard or your little hand thing here. Mandolins have taken a lot of, a lot of tips off the fingers. Give my wife tip of her finger. Tried to use the mandolin, didn't respect it. So it taught her, whoa, it taught her a lesson. Let's see what we got there. So as you can see, they, that onion is it's pretty much translucent. It's cut the, so thin. So that's how you do it. So, well that's it for that. So we're gonna get the old halo uh, fired up, get it warmed up here, and then we're gonna go out and make us some uh, onion burgers. See you at the grill. All right, we are back, day two for the same video. It was uh, raining pretty heavy on me while I tried to cook the video, but I will insert some footage of that. I did have to cook it, because that was dinner.
So, but anyways, I wanted to redo it. Now I'm fighting to get it done before it gets dark. So it's one complication after another. So anyways, here's a second take on cooking some onion, El Reno, Oklahoma onion smash burgers, or not even smash burgers, just burgers, whatever. So you know what I mean. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. Before it gets dark. Got two outer burners off, two center burners on, sitting around 475. So this is kind of how they do it in Oklahoma. Get a little seasoning. Don't be skimpy with the onions. All righty, time to give them a flip. Oh, beat that one too hard. We'll go ahead and put some cheese on them. Get them onions caramelized up and we're gonna be good to go. Another thing they like to do there, kind of like White Castle does it. Put your top bun down, other bun top, let them sit. All right, looking good, I think we're time, time to pull them. Get our nice steamed bun there. Oops. Make sure you put the burger on the bun. Like that. And there you go, two El Reno, Oklahoma style burgers. How they do it right there. Looking good. All righty. There we go. Just took a couple picks there. Let's go ahead and give this bad boy a try. So I know it's going to be delicious. All them onions falling out of there. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Damn good right there, good every time. So I had to make a video of it and uh, you know, I went all the way, did it in the rain for you guys. So I didn't stop me, made it work, but it was our dinner. So I had to make it work. Couldn't postpone it any longer. And obviously if I would have postponed it, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes, it'd stop raining, but who knew? But there we are, a couple Oklahoma, El Reno, Oklahoma burgers right there. So that's it for this one. I'm going to get to eating dinner and uh, we'll talk to you on the next one.